<laughs> Shit, I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad this is the last goddamn episode. Jocelyn about pissed me off. <laughs> your favorite auntie mo i'm tired as hell <laughs> but we are back with another episode review of johnson's cabaret this is the what is the seventh and final episode thank god thank god thank god i'm sorry i'm thank god before we get into this review y'all as always church announcements if you are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so become a member of the congregation before you leave, let me know that you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up and then make sure that notification bell is turned on. Look here, I got to give a big shout out to my boo out there, Sir Neil Hurston. Baby, look here. Your auntie was, listen, I just took a nap so goddamn good. Bitch, this nap I took was so goddamn good. <laughs> Bitch, I needed a, I wanted a, a cigarette when I got there and woke up. That motherfucking nap was so goddamn good. But when I woke up, I was tired. I was weary. I didn't want to do shit. I just wanted to wrap up my goddamn hair, put on my silk scarf, and go the fuck to bed. But sir, you sir, sent me a little old message on Instagram letting me know that you got a good little old kiki from my little old um, Angela and Pearl. Tony! Tony, Tony, Tony. That was a little bit of motivation I needed to get my ass up and record this video. So thank you, boo. When y'all inbox me on Instagram or send me emails or even reply back to my videos, y'all just don't know how much you motivate me, how good you make me feel, because it surprises me all the time that I get love like I do. You know what I'm saying? Or people just be on here like, girl, you so funny, you trip me out. Bitch, I'm just me. I just get on here. I might have me a little drink or something before I get on here, but you know, hey, bitch, it is what it is. But I just get on here now, me and y'all appreciate that. I appreciate y'all for for rocking with my little old ratchet ass. I damn sure appreciate you. But big shout out to you, Sir Neil Hurston. You gave your auntie the little old boost that she needed. So this right here review is for you. I'm going in for you, boo. So hopefully you are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So we are still at the restaurant. Jocelyn got pissed off. She's mad because she feels like Lucky has basically questioned her and her getting into it with Daisy and Chazity. She feels like it was her goddamn fault and that she shouldn't be sitting up there making jokes about it. And basically, you shouldn't have been going over there and talking to them hoes because the whole reason why I got into it was because of your fucking ass. Which again, Lucky, how the fuck was Lucky supposed to goddamn know that, Jocelyn? Y'all, Jocelyn... <laughs> I feel like this last episode had to be scripted because the way Jocelyn got in Lucky's face and disrespected her, girl, girl, had it been your auntie, we'd have been moving fucking furniture in there. Now, hold on, because I'm getting ahead of myself. So look here, Lucky pissed off. Lucky done got up. She done left from the table, Sapphire chasing after her to try to calm her down. And side note, Bitch, them boots that Sapphire had on. Your auntie wears size seven and a half. My birthday's June 27th. You want to send me them boots, girl. Them boots was fire. Them boots was bad. Oh, them boots was bad. Sapphire, them boots was bad, bitch. They, they bad, bad, bad. Anyways, she go out there. She trying to calm her down and all this. Because Lucky, like, look here. I don't, I've been rocking with this bitch. I've been down with her, been loyal with her. She had no reason to come and get in my face the way that she did. Which, bitch, she, <laughs> the way she went off on Lucky, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it couldn't have been your auntie. I'd cut that bitch. 
So, girl, Lucky and Sapphire end up going back inside the bar. They sitting down, and, you know, Lucky is just venting the Sapphire. She like, look here, that bitch, she was just disrespectful. She was going off, and she didn't have to go off the way that she goddamn went off. Bitch, next thing you know, Johnson come walking back inside the goddamn bar, goes up to Lucky and Sapphire. It was a security guard standing in the middle of them. Johnson going to tell the security guard, get out of my motherfucking way. Get the fuck out the way. I was like, oh, oh, shit, is it about to goddamn go down? She then starts to go left on Lucky. Take your motherfucking glasses off. You need to apologize to me. What, bitch, you thought she was that popping? Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm your elder. You need to respect your elder. I'll break your ass. I'll walk your ass like a dog. Like, I'll walk them hoes like a dog. Don't you ever question me, bitch. You out, and I don't fuck with her because she fuck with you. Now, once again, all of this heat was directed towards Lucky. She wasn't going off like that on Sapphire. Because once again, I think pound for pound, Sapphire would have walked her ass like a goddamn dog. Now, Lucky is sitting there cool, calm, and collected. That's why I feel like this shit had to been scripted. It had to been scripted. Even if Lucky is the most non-violent person in the world, Baby, anybody would have snatched Jocelyn's ass the way she was all up in that goddamn girl face. They don't have the nerve to tell her, I'm not going to say, you know what, I'm going to tell your nigga, your nigga going to handle your ass. Oh, watch, and he going to handle your ass. I was right there with Lucky, and bitch, and what is he supposed to do? What he going to do to me, baby? Jocelyn was like, I don't know what he going to do, but whatever he going to do, he going to do it. Lucky was me. Oh, yeah, bitch, is he? Okay. All right, boo, I got you. She going off left and right, calling her all kind of $2 assholes. Bitch, I break you. Bitch, I crack you in the skull. Bitch, I kick you down some stairs. I mean, she going off on her left and right. Could not. <laughs> Could not be your auntie. We'd have been breaking glass in that bitch. I'm telling you. Ain't no motherfucking way. So the next day, y'all, it's my nigga Lucky and OG Shabazz. <laughs> my nigga, but not my nigga. My pimp, but not my pimp. My nigga, but not my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Down the park talking to us. So she letting him know about all the bullshit that's going on, right? So she, to me, this is just my opinion. Lucky wasn't telling the story right. The way she was telling it, I felt like she was kind of tiptoeing around the whole Everything that went on instead of straight up like, look here, the bitch was tripping, she got mad, the bitch is crazy, whoop the whoop, yada, goddamn yada, you know what I'm saying? But she telling OG everything that's going on, baby, when I tell you that nigga is cold with the toothpick, right there, the whole time, okay, now tell you what she said? Uh-huh, and then what does it say? Okay, now see, that's a problem right there, you let these hoes disrespect you. You should let these hoes disrespect you like that. You let these hoes disrespect you all the goddamn time. I'm telling you to take a steel toe boot to these hoes. You don't goddamn listen. They ain't the way OG raised you. <laughs> I like how OG was able to break it down and make her understand like, because I do, I do understand why Jocelyn was pissed off, okay? She was pissed off because she felt like I sat up there and I defended you to these bitches just for you to turn around and be on the phone with them and be cool with them. Why would you even want to listen to anything that these hoes got to say when they was just in the club a couple of hours ago talking about you and putting your ass down? So the fact that I'm telling you that I got in tune with these bitches and then you're going to flip the script and you're going to be on the phone with them, yeah, I'm looking at you sideways. Like, I completely get Jocelyn's point of view but like OG said she just went about it the whole wrong goddamn way like your point that you were trying to make was fucking lost in trans in translation because of all the goddamn theatrics and bitch I'm the Puerto Rican princess shit that you goddamn do ain't nobody gonna fucking listen at you when you coming at them side sideways like that bitch I'm not finna listen to you I don't give a fuck what point you trying to goddamn make whether I was right or wrong when you come at somebody sideways like that bitch no that, especially not your auntie. Bitch, I'm going to knock you across your face with a fucking steel toe boot. That's just me, though. So Jocelyn and uh, Lucky end up going to meeting up later, right? Because Jocelyn hit up Lucky saying that she wanted to meet up with her. Child, when they meet up, the whole thing starts off with Lucky apologizing to Jocelyn for questioning her. Baby, look here. Lucky, because I know you watch your auntie reviews. You ain't have no fucking reason to apologize to her. Apologize for what? Because she 
got her own issues with these hoes and she got into it with that goddamn ass. And so you supposed to go in the pot? No, ma'am. No. Fuck that shit. Jocelyn half-ass apologizes back to her. Basically, like, the only reason I'm apologizing so I can feel better about what I did. She tries to justify why she went off. She tells Lucky, I felt like when I tell you what happened, you should have been ready to go fight them hoes. But instead, you got on the phone and you was talking to which again, I understand Jocelyn's point of view. I get that. But bitch, at the same time, whatever message you're trying to deliver is lost in translation when you come in at mother people goddamn sideways like that, bitch. I, and no, no. They would end up, uh, they ended up being able to get past it. Like I said, with Lucky full-blown apologizing, telling her that she will not question her again. Basically, it was like she apologized and tell her pimp or something. Like, girl, no. Fuck Jocelyn. Fuck Jocelyn. I'm sorry. Y'all know that's my girl, but she entertaining the watch and, and all of that. She ain't nobody I'd hang with in regular fucking life. I'm not even finna goddamn front like that. That is not a bitch I would hang out in regular life with. But, um, fuck her. So, Johnson ends up meeting up with Daisy and Chastity. Baby, when I tell you the both of their ass sitting there looking pitiful as hell, that goddamn Chastity bitch, that shit was funny. I'm sorry. She sitting up there like a broke dick dog, sitting up there with a dick in her hands. She just looked pitiful. She did not have all that goddamn lip. At first, she was all here with it. Whoop the whoop, yada, yada, yada. Bitch, when she goddamn was in that little meeting time with her Chastity and Johnson, that bitch was like this. That bitch looks pitiful. What you scared for? What you scared for, girl? Cause you scared she gonna try to goddamn put your face in your piss again like a puppy? Oh, bitch, she puppy Joe goddamn ass. That's fucked up. But she ends up meeting up with Chaz and Daisy. The girl, Jose, I mean, Jose. Well, some people call her Jose. I ain't calling her Jose, though. Jocelyn shows up looking like a Spanish majorette. I say, bitch, what fiesta is you going to? It was a mess. It was a Mexican mess what she had on. It looked horrible. Daisy starts to apologize to Jocelyn for getting out of line, for disrespecting her, that she didn't mean to cause any kind of problems. Jocelyn's like, look here, bitch. The minute I tried to walk this hole like a motherfucking dog and you didn't let my hand go, you chose the side right then and there. Chastity is like, no, Daisy was like, I didn't choose the side. I just didn't want y'all fighting. Like, I'm not going to sit back and just let y'all fight. Jocelyn is still on this high and mighty holier than thou. I am the pimp. You are the whole ass mentality, y'all. I, I I don't know who told Josh. Well, no, ain't nobody told Jocelyn nothing. That bitch is her own goddamn um, dream team and her own goddamn cheerleader. She is so goddamn stuck up, y'all. I'm sorry she's so fucking stuck up. And this last episode right here just further proved somebody, somebody is in this bitch here. Because as far as she knows, she is the Puerto Rican Dawn and can't nobody tell her shit. These hoes, Chastity and Daisy, was in there kissing her ass, y'all. Basically begging this bitch to be a part of the cabaret. Jocelyn is telling Chastity, look here. Now, Daisy, I expect more from you because we cool. Chastity, I don't give a fuck about this $2 asshole. But you, we was cool. Chastity just sitting there like, you, you right, you right. Daisy damn near about to cry. Why is y'all kissing this woman's ass? Why? To be a part of a cabaret that wasn't a cabaret that Johnson Steady calling a cabaret that ain't a cabaret about a goddamn thing? Fuck that. So Johnson basically tells him, like, look here, we can be cool, bitch. We can kick it, but, uh, I don't know about all that friendly shit, bitch. We'll see. Look here, y'all. The episode ends with a compilation of all the girls in the strip club doing their little booty shaking and, and, and all of this. All the girls are basically telling their little old story, giving their little quick little compilation like, from this I want to grow, I want to do this, I want to do that. Y'all, and um, yeah, it, it was just reflecting back with Jocelyn reflecting back on the cabaret and how much the cabaret has, has done and how she can't wait to take the cabaret to the next level. Bitch, what did you cabaret? I'm still not understanding what 
the fuck did we cabaret? Because even at the end, all I seen was ass and titties, ass, ass, and titties. And I thought we weren't supposed to see that. I thought with the cabaret, it was supposed to give you a sensualness um, without them taking off their clothes. But it was still ass and titties and monkey every damn well. But Johnson is determined to take the cabaret to the next level. Whatever the fuck that means. Y'all look here. I'm very glad that this this season is over. This this show is over. I'm about to cancel this $3.99 so goddamn fast. Zeus, you ain't getting no more of my goddamn money. I'm not fitting to goddamn do this shit. Um, somebody hit me up and asked me, am I doing Ray J and Princess's um show? Hell no. Uh-uh. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that. No! Auntie, not doing that shit. Look here, if y'all seen this episode. <laughs> And y'all agree with me? Johnson needs to be hitting the head with a steel toe boot. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>